ever come across a movie that makes you laugh, gasp, and tear up all at once? Well, brace yourself, because Cast a Giant Shadow is full of funny, shocking, and sad moments that will keep you hooked. It came out in 1966 and tells the incredible true story of a man who faced tough odds and changed history. It's not just another war movie, it's a story about bravery, sacrifice, and the strength of the human spirit. So, when did you first watch this amazing saga? Share your story in the comments below, and let's talk about our favorite memories and personal experiences with this unforgettable film. We can't wait to hear from you. Stay tuned for more interesting facts and stories. In 1966, a huge movie emerged, shaking up the movie world with its gripping story and fantastic actors. It's about a guy named David Marcus, who played a big role in Israel's fight for freedom. He leaves his important job in the military in America to help out Israel. The movie shows how determined he is as he deals with the difficulties of war, making deals, and giving up personal stuff. His dedication inspires everyone around him, including his wife and a bunch of other famous actors like John Wayne and Frank Sinatra. They all face big challenges, from politics to fighting, to make sure Israel is safe. The movie doesn't just talk about history. It also shows how important things like loyalty and friendship are. It's still meaningful today because it reminds people that even when things are tough, we can make it through with determination. It's not just a movie. It's a story about people fighting against tough times and leaving a mark that lasts. Cast a Giant Shadow, a film released in 1966, has had a lasting effect on many people and events. One famous person influenced by the movie is Arnold Schwarzenegger, who later became California's governor. He looked up to the main actor in the film when he was young. In 1922, the main actor took a big piece of land meant for the Jewish homeland in the Middle East. He used it to make the Emirate of Transjordan, which later became Jordan. In 1974, during a trip to London for TV shows, the main actor got pneumonia. He was 66 years old and had only one lung, making the illness very serious. He ended up hurting his heart from coughing. In 1978, he had emergency heart surgery in Boston. At the 50th Academy Awards, Bob Hope delivered a message expressing how much everyone missed the actor. This message gave him the strength to live until the next year's Oscars as per Loretta Young. Cast a Giant Shadow shows how the main actor and the events in the film have left their mark over time. It's an important part of movie history. Cast a Giant Shadow, released in 1966, features Topol, known for his role as the baker amiable in the musical The Baker's Wife. However, Topol's tenure in the production was cut short due to alleged unprofessional behavior. This co-star Patti Lupone claimed a strained relationship with him offstage, and the show's composer, Stephen Schwartz, cited disruptions caused by Topol's behavior. Topol has appeared in two other significant films selected for the National Film Registry, The Ten Commandments, and The Magnificent Seven. In 1955, Topol established his production company, Brina Productions, named after his mother, making him one of the pioneering actors to do so. Cast a Giant Shadow is a film that sheds light on a pivotal period in history. It encapsulates the era when Stalin wielded immense power, as evidenced by the prolonged applause upon his entry into the Soviet Politburo, a testament to the fear that permeated the atmosphere. Despite his influence, he harbored a personal history marked by absence, having an older half-brother, James, whom he never had the chance to meet. Interestingly, the lead actor of the film was the visual inspiration for the original illustrations of superhero Green Lantern Avan Sir, created in 1959 when he was 39 years old. This character holds significance as the predecessor of Green Lantern Hole Jordan, symbolizing a passing of the torch after Sir's demise when his spacecraft crashed on Earth. In summary, Cast a Giant Shadow not only delves into historical events, but also showcases the interconnectedness of popular culture with real-life inspirations, making it a compelling piece of cinema that resonates with audiences even today. In the 1966 movie, a portrayal of the life of a very special person is depicted. The story revolves around a man whose face is on the U.S. 10-cent coin known as the Roosevelt Dime. This coin is a tribute to his role as honorary chairman of the March of Dimes charity dedicated to fighting polio, a disease that affected him personally. Despite opposition from some politicians, a movement to replace him on the dime was stopped by the intervention of former President Ronald Reagan's widow, Nancy Reagan, highlighting his lasting political influence. In the backdrop of historical events, Stalin's efforts to erase the memory of certain people are revealed. 
Lev Trotsky, a big figure in history, was subjected to Stalin's changes, with mentions of him removed and his image taken out of photos. This shows how far some would go to control historical stories and get rid of rivals. Before his role in the movie, the actor had gained recognition for his part in the film Sala, where he played an elderly character. This performance led to his selection for the big role in Fiddler on the Roof, for which he received a Golden Globe Award as the most promising male newcomer. The movie offers a glimpse into the life of a man whose influence extended beyond his time, leaving a strong impact on history. Through the portrayal of historical events and personal achievements, the film captures the essence of an important and influential person. In a renowned movie of the mid-20th century, a notable actor known for his portrayal of Ethan Edwards in The Searchers ranked among the greatest movie characters. Despite facing health challenges, he staunchly supported Senator Barry Goldwater in the 1964 presidential election. Despite being diagnosed with lung cancer, he hosted a TV special for Goldwater in October of the same year. Throughout the Second Italo-Ethiopian War, he defended Benito Mussolini, proclaiming him as a significant figure in contemporary lawmaking. He referred to Mussolini as the greatest lawgiver among living men and as a really great man in the Sunday Chronicle. During the early 1960s, he traveled extensively to Panama, reportedly purchasing the island of Tabrasillo off the main coast of the country. It was later sold by his estate and changed hands multiple times before becoming a tourist attraction. In 1964, when he first met Mia Farrow, he was 48 and she was 19, a fact that prompted Dean Martin to quip that he owned a bottle of scotch older than her. He had numerous one albums and seven one singles, including Five Minutes More, Lean in the Blues, Mamsell, oh, but it seemed to be Strangers in the Night, All or Nothing at All with the Harry James Band and Something Stupid, shared with daughter Nancy Sinatra. Additionally, he had four one hit singing as the front singer of the Tommy Dorsey Band, although he was not directly credited as the artist. These include I'll Never Smile Again, Dolores, There Are Such Things, and In the Blue of Evening. Fairy Tale of New York by the Pogs and Kirsty Mackall was another hit attributed to him. In two World War II prisoner of war films, he portrayed older, wise characters aiding burdened fellow prisoners. He issued secret orders on August 25, 1941 to attack German and Italian forces, leading to a September 4, 1941 incident between the Greer and a German submarine. Roosevelt falsely claimed the submarine fired first during a September 11, 1941 fireside chat, admitting to ordering a shoot-on-sight campaign against Axis submarines without congressional approval. His radio condemnation of Ireland's neutrality during World War II stirred controversy, contrasting with his praise of Spain for not joining the Axis or invading Gibraltar in 1940, as noted in the House of Commons.